Hi and welcome to Insightful Science. Today we're going to be covering the base of the skull and where the cranial nerves exit all the foramen. So first we need to draw the base of the skull from a superior view, looking from the top. Easiest way, I think, to remember is by splitting them into three portions. So firstly, draw like this, split the top half, and then split the bottom half like this. This is the anterior cranial fossa. middle cranial fossa posterior cranial fossa I'm not going to cover this in loads of different pieces of text because mainly we want to look at the foramina and the cranial nerves however it's important to know that this around here frontal bone ethmoid bone, the sphenoid is here, temporal here, here, occipital here, and the parietal running just here and here. Okay, so the first way is by looking at the anterior cranial fossa. So we need to look at this here and this plate here. So this is the foramen cecum, and this is the cribriform plate. We'll cover all of these first and then we'll cover the cranial nerves. The next is the middle cranial fossa. A little bit more tricky, I find an easy way to remember it is by drawing six different circles. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so firstly here, this is the optic Canal, superior orbital fissure, and next we've got these four. Easiest way I think is to divide them into four. So one, two, three, four. I should bring out their labels here like this. Remember that they're all foramen. And remember rolls on full laughing? Well, I've got one that's probably not going to catch on. Rolls on side laughing. So foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, spinosum, and foramen lacerum. Lastly, we've got the posterior cranial fossa. So we're just going to draw it in. So you draw a big circle here, and three more. One, two, three. That's one, two, and three. Okay, so now we've drawn them in. This is the internal auditory meatus. jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, and the big boy foramen magnum. So, foramen cecum, 
cribriform plate, optic canal, superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, foramen lacerum, the internal order trumiatus, the jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, and the foramen magnum. Now let's look at the cranial nerves. So firstly here, you've got olfactory. on the cribriform plate. Then moving down into the middle cranial fossa here, from the optic canal, we have the optic nerve. Simple so far. Then when we look at the um, superior orbital fissure, you've got a few that go into here, so it's a little bit more tricky to remember. Think of everything that controls the eyes. One, two, three. You've got the ocular motor. Uh, trochlea. And the abducens. Then we come to the trigeminal nerve. So it's quite large. And that also has a branch that goes down the uh, superior orbital fissure. So that's the first branch. Got another that goes here, another that goes here. So V1, V2, V3. That's the trigeminal. So V1 goes into the superior orbital fissure, V2 goes into the foramen rotundum, and V3 goes into the foramen ovale. So trigeminal, here. Yeah. So there's no cranial nerves that exit out the foramen spinosum, but there is an artery that enters, it's the middle meningeal artery. And same here with the foramen lacerum. No cranial nerves, but you get the pterygoid nerve. Artery. And some veins. Lastly, we're coming into the posterior cranial fossa. So here we have the facial. We also have the vestibular cochlea. Into the internal auditory meatus, we have the uh, glossopharyngeal, the vagus, and the spinal accessory. And the very last, the hypoglossal, down the hypoglossal canal. So one more time. From the cecum, the cribriform plate where the olfactory nerve rests, optic canal where the optic nerve exits, you've got the superior orbital fissure where the ocular motor, trochlea and abducens and the first branch of the trigeminal exit. Got the foramen rotundum, where the second branch of the trigeminal exits. The foramen ovale, where the third branch of the trigeminal exits. The middle meningeal artery enters through the foramen spinosum, and the pterygoid nerve artery and veins enter and exit respectively through the foramen lacerum. The internal auditory meatus houses the, the facial, the vestibular cochlea, or auditory as some people like to call it nerve. You've then got the jugular foramen, which houses the glossopharyngeal, the vagus and the spinal accessory, and the hypoglossal canal, which houses the hypoglossal. And you've got the foramen magnum, which has the spinal cord. 
Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something from it. The base of the skull is quite tricky, and there's a lot going on here, but if you break it down into different sections, you will be able to learn it. The way that I did it was simply by dividing it into different sections and repeatedly drawing out the base of the skull. It took many attempts for me to be able to draw it from scratch uh, from the very beginning. At, at first I was barely able to draw the foramen, then later I was able to maybe name some of them, and then I was able to learn how to uh, put the nerves into them. So it does take time. So what I'd recommend is watch the video again, try to draw with me, and keep going. You, you will get there in the end. Well, thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content, um, please subscribe. And if there's anything specific you'd like to see or me specific you'd like to see me try and cover, please just leave a comment down below or get in contact with me. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you.